Dirty. Oh, dude, he's on us again. Oh, we're gonna have to get some altitude and dive bomb. Dude, they are fast, man. Oh, he's tearing us up bad, too. All right. Try to keep up with me now, man. Oh, he is, too. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. I stole an egg. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Crystal Isles. We're currently hovering over the desert biome. So I was out over here taking a look for some Thylas. I was wanting to want to find some high level ones to tame up to uh, to start breeding. It's one of my favorite mounts in the game. And since we're going to be here for a while, might as well get started on it. However, that's not what we're here for today. So while I was out scouting, if you remember a couple videos ago, we were out over right about here taming that Ravager and we got attacked by that Wyvern. So I saw two of them out here again, which kind of worries me because I don't know where they're at now. But there was a uh, an egg in a nest by them too. Oh, it's actually right here. So see, these Wyverns, I thought on this map, were all passive, which obviously that one wasn't. And they were supposed to be a passive tame instead of stealing eggs. But dude, there's an egg here, man. It was a it was a pretty high level one too. What I saw, yeah, 125. So it's not a regular crystal wyvern. It's a crystal wyvern air. So let's go ahead and take it. I'm sure they're gonna come for me if they're like the normal mechanics with wyverns. So I don't know if there's more nests around here or what. Oh, dude, dude, there he is, man. That's the one. See what level he is. Because, dude, he was tearing us up the other day. I'll tell you what, I'm having spy, spy glass issues. Dirty. Oh, dude, he's on us again. Oh, uh, we're going to have to get some altitude and dive bomb. Dude, they are fast, man. Oh, he's tearing us up bad, too. All right. Try to keep up with me now, man. Oh, he is too. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. I stole an egg. Okay. He lost aggro. Let's uh, land, get a little bit more stamina, and we'll try to go around him and see if we can find another one up there. Oh, dude, is that all open under there? Oh, I wonder if it's a cave. Dude, I thought that was all solid, man. Don't need that. So yeah, it's a, uh, oh, it's a one of the blood ones, which is one of the ones I was wanting because I got a new mechanic that uh, instead of breathing fire, it, uh, it breathes this weird blood that takes health from whoever you're attacking and gives it to you. Kind of like a little bit of self-healing. Interesting. So let's go ahead and we're going to head over there, see if we can find an another nest, and then if anything, we'll go back and hatch this one. It's not a really high level, but uh, it'll do until we get another one. See if we can do this without losing the griffin because i uh, kind of grown fond of him a little bit. <laughs> Take it slow in case we see any- oh, is that a nest? See, those look like wyvern nest to me. Of course, it could be different. It could just be the landscape. Some things are a little different on this map than other ones. Which is totally fine. Oh, there's berries in here. I don't see any on the, on the walls, though. I wonder if this is that in... Oh, there's sarcos, too. I wonder if this is the entrance that we found the egg by, because there was a little opening. Nope. Totally different area. Take a stroll around here. I think there was another opening. We'll see if there's any nests by that one. And if anything, we'll head back down in. Oh, I thought there was another opening. Oh, there is right here. 
So no nests. Let's go ahead and land, get some stamina, and I want to check these crystals. I've been checking all the crystals around to see... Would you, would you land, please? To see if they give you anything. Um... I was stuck inside of them. But yeah, ever since we've got those those weird ones from Eldritch Isle, and these look to be all normal. So yeah, there's nothing else in here. Oh, except for that dude. Oh, we didn't get aggro from him. It's kind of weird. Oh, we did! Dang it! Dude! Is that the same one? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's go ahead and try to lose him. I want to check the top side to see if there's any more eggs before we head back to the base. Dude, those things are so fast, man. Holy crap! Don't hit the water. Oh, but there he goes. Add a render range. I don't know if that was the same one or not. Alright, let's check around up here. And if... Ooh, loot crate. Nice. Let's get that while we're here. Oh, that's not a... That's an artifact crate. What? Artifact of the crag. Nice! Oh, that's the one that has the... Yeah, the skin for the torch. What else is back here? Nothing. Dude, that's awesome, man. We got a wyvern egg and an artifact. And haven't been killed yet. <laughs> uh, yet. Uh, that, that is a clause at the end. Let's go up here, see if there's any up top. Kind of weird. We haven't seen a blood wyvern, but we got an egg from one. And we've seen one, possibly two. I don't know if that was the same one of the tropicals, but we haven't seen an, an egg nest. That just drops back down in, right? Yeah. nothing up top here either that's weird man why is there only one nest in this huge rock here oh there's a nest right there too nice oh it's a different egg too what are you oh an ember one oh uh, that's just a regular fire one and it's only level 35 We'll keep the egg though. I don't know if it's. I don't know if we can use eggs for anything on this map. Besides hatching them. Well, I mean, we can use it for kibble. Double check while we're right here. And then we'll head back to base. So, yeah, we can't do a basilisk. I was looking online to see what we need to do to tame it. And you need rock drake eggs. And since this map went official. The devs removed rock drakes off the map, so we cannot tame a basilisk, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and head back to base. I don't see anything else around here. And uh, we'll try to hatch this one up, man. See what it's uh see what these new wyverns are all about. Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> it's water, man. That's all it is. Might as well get this drop. That's actually a drop. What is that? Oh, nice. dude, it's an ascendant one. Almost a 400% for the, uh, that's that new, we haven't got to where we can tame one of those yet because it needs a weird trap made. But that's the new flyers that are on this map. I almost forgot about those. Awesome, all right, heading back to base. See you back in a few. We are currently on our final descent to the beach resort. 
I'd like to thank you for flying Griffin Airlines. <laughs> it's awesome, man. I love this this uh, dive bomb that he has. All right, let's get over here, put him down. Sort a little bit of stuff out here. We're gonna leave this egg in the fridge. I'm gonna throw that in there. Uh, these blueprints, I don't need this one. I don't know why I picked it up. And we'll put that one in there. So, we are doing very, very well on metal. Since the metal nodes are very good around here. So, I went ahead and made up uh, three more vaults and a grill. I don't know where the grill's going to go, but the vaults will go right there. So we'll do that some other time, probably. Let's uh, try to throw this egg out and see if it's going to be too hot. They usually are. Well, not hot, but cold. Yeah, so we need to get some torches. I don't like using campfires. And I don't have any made. I'll make some torches up, and then uh, we'll get this guy out and come back whenever he's just about ready to hatch. All right, so he is just about ready. We got a little less than a minute left. But, dude, I just found our little... Uh, Remember the monkey that we tried to tame when we first uh, came to build our house over here that I knocked out and didn't know that it had to be a passive tame? Where's he at? Is that him? Dude, he was just over here. We should try to tame him today, too, if we can. So apparently, you just feed him berries without uh, getting him all riled up, and he tames that way. So we'll, we'll try that whenever we uh, we get this guy to hatch, because whenever he hatches, we got to wait for him to go through the stages for... Uh, maturing up for the imprints. And then real quick, before he hatches, I changed this up a little bit. So I got rid of those two front pieces. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I put them down. And I put two beer barrels. So if we see a chally out, we can, uh, we can tame one of those up too. So two of those fermenting should be plenty. And then if anything, who doesn't like a beer on the beach, right? Let's go ahead and see. I was just thinking too, I hope that we don't need to have wyvern milk. Oh, dude, he hatched. Oh, imprint. Imprint. Dude! Imprint. Okay, cool. So, let's turn off wandering. Put you on low. So, you're a male. And I know we gotta... Uh, let's get him away from this stuff here. I know we gotta get him imprinted and all. Um, but we don't have any milk, dude. I hope we're not going to need wiver milk because that's going to mess up this whole thing. Huh. Weird looking. So base stats with no imprint is 3,400 on the health, 633 uh, on stamina, 426 on weight, 259 on damage, and 100% movement speed. And he needs five minutes before he's ready for care again. Let's turn these off. Because they are making me way too hot. Off, not on. Come on, dude. Dude! Alright. Now that that's done, let's, uh... Let's try to tame this monkey. I think he was somewhere over here. You got, what, five minutes, right? Yeah, plenty of time, plenty of time. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, there he is. Cool, so we gotta go really slow. And as long as he doesn't go running, we should be able to feed him. Alright, so that's 16% for one. Usually, I've, I've figured out with the passive teams like that, uh, the time between the first and the second one is usually the longest, and then it speeds up after that. Awesome! Dude, we got him! Hold on, man. No wandering. Hey, 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 where are you going? Oh, he's not wandering. How are you following me, dude? I'm, like, behind you, and you're right. <laughs> Pick him up. Let's get him over here. We'll throw him off and look at his stats real quick. Does he stay on? Oh, he does. Oh, that's kind of neat. How long have you got left? Two minutes. So I don't know what they're used for. They're just, uh... I guess it's a little monkey to have around? 
414 on the health, uh, weight's 91, damage is almost 400, well, I guess that's good, 230% movement speed, dude he looks awesome though, nice, we'll, uh, we'll throw him in the house here for a while, I put him, probably put him up here with, uh, with him, little Jerboa. Nice. Throw these berries back in here. And wait on the wyvern, man. Alright, so we got about 30 seconds left on this. He, uh... Dude, look at his eyes, man. They're weird. Kind of creepy looking. But he is, uh... He is eating off the feeding trough. You can see the little symbol above the, the name there. So I guess we don't need wyvern milk? Hopefully he doesn't need one for, for one of the uh, cuddle or imprints. Primal Crystal, what? I don't even know what that is. Well, we're not gonna get any imprints done on you. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Primal Crystal. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't even know what that is, man. Haven't even heard of it. Well, I guess we're gonna sit here and go ahead and let him uh, fully mature because it won't go past the first stage without having the, uh, the one for the previous. So we'll see you back in a few and maybe we'll uh, get to take him for a spin. I don't think we need a saddle for him, right? Nah, no saddles for him. So, all right, we'll be back in about, what's that? I'm guessing maybe that's a 25% per cuddle. So we'll see you back in a few, man. Well, he's almost grown up already. While we were waiting, I uh, did some looking and research online, and it turns out those primal crystals come from an alpha uh, version of them. That's apparently out on, uh, here I'll just show you on the map. Out around uh, 50, 30, out in that area. There's a, uh, it's where they're supposed to be at. Apparently they're somewhat rare, and they are, uh, they do have a lifespan, so they're kind of one of those things where you get them and you need to use them. Having them in the wyvern does kind of extend their life a little bit. So it's kind of like wyvern milk almost, the way that the mechanic works with them. But, unfortunately, kind of disappointed. Not going to get any uh, inference out of this guy. So he is going to have those base stats. But, let's take him for a spin. Maybe with imprinting, you get the uh, movement speed boost, but he seems the same speed as a normal wyvern to me. Look about the same size, too. I thought they were supposed to be smaller. Ah, maybe it is smaller. Too bad, though. Let's find something to chomp on and see what uh, their damage is and their special ability. Uh, let's not do the Kinosaur. Well, actually... Yeah, what's up here? Eh, we'll do a trike. Or the turtle even better. Ooh, 116, that's it? That's not much. Let's do the special attack. Dude, that's weird looking. So he's, uh, he's draining health from him and giving them to us. So it doesn't do any dam- well, does it? I guess it does damage them, right? It takes health away from them? Yeah, we're, we're regen and health. That's actually pretty cool. Dude, I'd love to see that whenever you have more damage on, like, a fully imprinted one. Oh, that'd be awesome. Well, we did get our first Wyvern, even though he doesn't uh, have any imprints. But you win some, you lose some. You know, it's all about learning. It's a uh, new map and new stuff going on, so that's the way it goes. But we're going to go ahead and leave this one here, as always. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.